Podcasts. How you doing? I'm Kevin O'Hara for AlcoholMastery.com. Uh, today's question is, uh, how does alcohol affect men and women differently? I hate these comparison questions, but uh, you know, at the end of the day, alcohol affects the body. Alcohol affects um, the human body in a very detrimental way. It's not good for the human body. As soon as you put alcohol in, your body is screaming out to try and get it back out again. It's doing everything it can to get it back out again. So, you know, um, although this video is about looking at the differences, um, it still acts the same way, you know, it's a poison, you know, men don't get less poisoned than, than women, you know, um, in, in the overall sense of things, right, it's a poison. Now, the differences between men and women, right, women are definitely more vulnerable to the effects of alcohol. Um, in general, they have a tendency to be smaller, so when you're smaller in weight, you know, it's just the, the alcohol is going to travel through your body a lot quicker, you know, and affect you a lot quicker. Um, even if they're the same uh, weight, the uh, women will get a higher uh, blood alcohol level if drinking the same amount of alcohol. So, you know, it's, alcohol is going to affect women differently that way. Um, alcohol also becomes more concentrated. You know, we're sort of mostly made up of water, but there's differences. The men are probably around 60, 61 to 65 percent. Women are about 10 percent lower, maybe 51 to 55 percent water. So because there's less water, uh, the alcohol is going to be more concentrated, which means that the effects are felt uh, quicker. Women have also got more fat. Uh, in the body and um, alcohol or fat doesn't absorb the alcohol so um, women's bodies are going to you know because uh, the, uh, the the fat's not absorbing the alcohol it's getting into the bloodstream quicker you know um, also women can't metabolize alcohol as quickly as men uh, so there's just um, uh, when you know the, it's a slower metabolism as you know, once the alcohol is being metabolized, that's not where you get the drunkenness from. The drunkenness comes from the alcohol flying around your body, right, and affecting um, the different parts of your body. But, you know, despite all these things, you know, there's hormones as well that make a difference. There's different hormones, um, and they sort of alter the how, you know, your body reacts to, to the alcohol. But despite all of these things, as I said at the beginning, alcohol is... Um, uh, affects both male and female there's just differences right you know it's like differences in a scale but if you're drinking lots of alcohol you know it's going to affect you um, a lot worse than if you're drinking a lot less amount of alcohol if you get what I mean so you know just think about it from that perspective don't be looking at it and saying to yourself well because I'm a man I can drink more you know it's still a poison it's a toxin to your system so you know don't be doing it so anyway, I have something I want to give you for free that you're going to love. It's my new book, 10 Steps to Stop Drinking Alcohol for Good. Now, by downloading it, uh, reading it and applying the principles, I'm confident you'll enjoy better sleep, better relationships, more money, better health, much, much more. So as I said, I want to give you this for free. All you have to do is click on the link down below this video in the description area. Go to the website. Once you're there, click on the button enter your best email address and I'll send you a free copy. Now, as I said, I'm confident that you'll enjoy this book and get a great deal out of it. So click on the link below this video right now uh, to get started. I'm Kevin O'Hara for AlcoholMastery.com. Take care of yourself. Onwards and upwards. Be to you again.